offices and also to visit the chairman of our board of trustees. We have already opened the office. Later today or early morning we will see the chairman of the board of trustees. But we felt there was no way we could come to Anambra without coming to pay our respect. Being somebody that we know for a very long time and very closely uh, over the years, since the days when we were uh, in the cabinet of President of Ownership of Basenjo. Let me, on behalf of all of us, thank you so much for receiving us personally. We are not taking that, any, that for granted. We appreciate it. And I'm sure this will go a long way in reinforcing the good relationship that has been existing between us. And of course, by extension, people, the good people of this state and our state, and of course uh, yourself, and of course with our movement, Kokosia movement. I thank you for being well dressed with your red cap and <laughs> Thank you very much, Your Excellency. So, I'm sure you know what has happened. Uh, we were in the same party a long time ago. Later, we decided to form uh, APC, one by PDP, and we realized the two parties were not serving the country the way they should. That's why, like you who went to Abga, we decided to join NMPP. And I'm happy to tell you that uh, the last nine months, we were able to take the party to all nooks and corners of this country. We have our structures in all the ones today in this country. And local government states, what zones, and of course, at national level. We are also able to get some very credible candidates across the country. All the governors, all the senators, in fact, uh, we have one or eight out of one or nine senators, members of the House of Reps and State Assembly. Our party, for many obvious reasons, is very strong in northern Nigeria. I'm sure our party and our candidates are those to beat Northern Nigeria today. And uh, I'm very so happy to say that we are coming, we are now in the southern part of the country. In fact, uh, I visited all the states except one in southern, southern Nigeria. In northern Nigeria, I visited all the states more than one time. And uh, we are still moving and we are making a lot of progress. People in this country are very much sick and tired of PDP and APC. They have failed the nation. All the issues that we have today, as far as we are concerned, can be attributed to the weakness of PDP and APC. And unless something is done, and done quickly in 2023, only God knows where this country will end up. So we are very happy that we have this party. I'm also happy that uh, there is Auga in this part of the country. And uh, having known you as uh, uh, over the years, I'm sure uh, not only you, you are well dressed in Kokosia attire, <laughs> but even in your heart, you are, you are one of us. So it doesn't matter wherever you are, you know you are one of us. And we will continue to really uh, work together. We believe we are people of like minds, people who believe in this country, people who want to better the lives of every Nigerian. 
and of course people who are determined to ensure the development of the country. So we are happy that we are here and uh, since we came in we met so many people and we have had good stories about the good work that you are doing. Please keep it up. Let's keep on moving. And uh, we are aware of some movements here uh, in this part of the country, especially here in Anambra. I believe that uh, you are capable of handling any sort of thing. And we look forward to seeing good performance of this party, at least in this state. And uh, we will also look at possible ways of working together uh, with you uh, for the 2023 election and even beyond, because we are people who believe in the future of this country. We are people who believe in the masses to better the lives of all Nigerians, unlike what we have seen in the two parties that have been mismanaging the country for now 24 years. By the grace of God, Nigeria will have the right caliber of people to lead this country so that we can reverse this negative trends of insecurity, economic crisis that we see everywhere uh, in this country, the changes, infrastructure in this country, and divisions based on religion, ethnicity, and all sorts of things. So once again, Your Excellency, I'm so happy to be here. And uh, before now, we were calling you Governor Boni. Now we are Governor Boni plus Governor Namaste. <laughs> so we call people at your position double excellencies. Thank you and God bless you.
active the CS4 and the others. That's a, a just a um, one of my show, what we heard that you are coming and uh, said, okay, um, we'll come to receive you. I want to say welcome to Alan Radio and welcome to Oka. Uh, and feel absolutely I'm glad that you are put around for the day and uh, put around as I see my brothers who are uh, with you. Um, two of them actually, one from Oka, your national deputy chairman. Is from Oka. They, uh, uh, they, that's where my secondary school, uh, where I lived for five years, who are the pioneers of the secondary school in his village. Uh, and they said, uh, <laughs> and now the senatorial candidate who is aspiring to be my senator uh, is also uh, in the Torah. Uh, I must say a big welcome. And you are from uh, Aguburi, uh, from the hometown of the Africa presidential candidate. I think you picked them very carefully. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let me say a big welcome. And uh, I want to not just to welcome you, but to commend you. Commend your tenacity, your belief in this country. Your exemplary public service. I serve with you. We didn't just serve in the same government. We were neighbors at Mabushi. <laughs> in fact, it's the road that divided our houses. Um, so the other, as you drive it by, was on the right, is on the left. Just the other side of the road. But how you know that he was, uh, I think that was when he was probably brewing this Kwakwasia uh, movement. Because when uh, some weekends or some days, you might just see about five, six buses, and there will be people they will follow back. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure he, after the flood, because it was an open thing, and there was no fence, nothing. You just come in and you you troop in, and uh, it will say the governor of the people. Uh, the buses were always. Um, uh, trooping around there. So, we know, and uh, I can testify you are the Minister of Defense. And, um, like I said, your belief, tenacity, commitment to our nation, and the exemplary uh, public service. And, uh, and now that belief, because I always say those who have something to offer should offer themselves for public service. And public service is the most, is the biggest form of philanthropy. Um, which at a personal level you can eat and so on. But with public service, with one change in public policy, you can affect the lives of millions of people. So I want to commend you. Commend you that, I mean, you've been quite a big game changer. Um, you narrated how you went from PDP to ABC and you found it. And I know, um, I know what role you played in the 20. <laughs> and so on, and moving on, and then finally, you must have, you must have your reasons uh, for that. But let me, first of all, now with NNPP, the New Nigerian People's Party. Um, so you are the new, there the used to be a Nigerian People's Party. <laughs> I new to me. I think uh, hopefully every back uh, that's why when I saw the name first, Really? Okay, I'm yet to quite fully understand that. Um, the new, because there used to be NPP here, uh, they used to dominate this part of the world in the Second Republic, uh, with uh, Namdi as he were as the leader, the national and the presidential candidate. And now this is the new one. Um, uh, that one was the old one now, the new one. <laughs> Anyway, you are you very much uh, welcome. Welcome to our number. We call it the pride, the, the light of the nation. Anambra people, Southeast people, that's something that defines us. We, we pride ourselves as being Republicans. I mean, um, we're not given to um, and one aspect of that is freedom. 
freedom of expression. Everybody canvasses his own view, small, tall, big, anything, and so on. It's that open space where everybody is free to compete and contest, and those who excel. Uh, in fact, it is said that among the Igbos, old age is respected. Among Chino Ajebek, that among the Igbos, old age is respected, but achievement is revered. And therefore, this reverence for achievement, that is an open space. And to say to you, here in Anambra, various people describe about the place of Anambra in the southeast, the home of the Azikiwe, the home of uh, where Omar Fori is the first senate president, the home of Ekweme, the vice president of the Second Republic, the home of Edwin uh, Umezo, the speaker, the home of Chubaka, the board, the home of all the Achebes uh, and all the, all the greats in the Ikeba uh, Newi and so on and so forth. This is the estate. And here we are known to the people who freely, freely express themselves, uh, freely associate, and that, and, uh, and so on. So here, yeah, you are welcome to freely go around the state. I'm glad you've seen your, your furniture. That is the spirit. See, as an uh, itinerant people, as an itinerant people, we cannot afford to, at the same time, be an intolerant tribe. We are in everybody's village. We are everywhere, and one feature, we say it in the Igbo, that Ojemba, every year. The one who travels everywhere doesn't cause enmity anywhere. So you, you're very welcome here, and that is why we're very open. All the uh, political parties, everybody, my position is that everybody should be free to canvas freely. And whoever has the should they should do so. Nobody should be coerced or you know shut up somebody and so on and so forth. Uh, just like your deputy national chairman is from Anambra State. And we find a series of people from other uh, places, uh, people belong to other parties and participate in other spheres and vice versa. So you are welcome to Anambra. Uh, let me uh, just two quick uh, uh, points. I, I heard the, your point about the Pampasia and my uh, red card. <laughs> very important. <laughs> very good. Uh, <laughs> uh, quite, a, quite a good uh, coincidence. Uh, um, but you know, Your, your Excellency, I, I saw you on television uh, the other day when you were explaining and uh, something that even some people trying to talk about you and them. That is a good one song. So when I uh, when I saw him uh, with the Pampasia movement beginning with the red cap, I said maybe he's going back to his room. <laughs> 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 but going back to the roots. <laughs> so <laughs> I never actually after listening to you saying that, I said ah. It's actually, you know, pop and so, 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 go pop and so. <laughs> With a red cap, you know, uh, so to speak. So, anyway, I think uh, you're very welcome. And actually, today, I just saw, before I was coming here, I was just looking at the television, and they were running, and they said, it's 50 days today. 50 days today. So, if our tweeters were talking, uh, to them, 50 days, the first election will happen. The business is a serious one. Where the country is, and where the versus where the country needs to be, needs to be. And I think it is time that all those who really love this country, progressives who are progressive minded, who want to think about the future, I want to believe you come from the background, the root of um, the great man, I mean, okay, uh, on the case maybe, and you know, um, the law for the, for the common man, that we must begin to think about the position of the ordinary person. 
the poor person in the future of this country. And that hard work, I want to believe, will start after this election. The hard work beyond the election itself. That all the like minded people, and I want to say whoever wins, whether it's NLPP or Afghan. out and bring out almost like a government of like minds, like minds for the transformation of this country. Because this country is really blessed. We have everything that is, I mean, we are the fourth, we are the largest black nation on earth by our population, not by the size of the country. But we are threatened, we have challenges of both the climate, the, the everything, and the security, and several others. We are punching below our weight in economic terms. Um, but we need the like minds to come together. Those who firmly believe patriotic and who firmly believe in this country that we can turn it to become not just the largest black nation by population or the largest black country by size of the economy, but can become very rapidly one of the largest seven or four uh, economies in the world. It is possible. We have the potentials to do it. And what is holding us behind is probably the politics, a uh, dysfunctional politics, um, as it were. And I want to believe that after this election, we can go far beyond this to pull together all who have the nationals about this country. I want to, I want to see uh, yourself someone like you um, in government, whether you're as president or not as president. Somebody like you should be. But we wish you the very best of luck. We wish you the best of luck uh, in this uh, movement. Uh, we'll see what is uh, going on. I uh, occasionally follow a little bit of what is going on uh, elsewhere. But you, as you can imagine, with me wearing the, uh, the cop, uh, I'm more intensely focused on what is going on in my own, uh, in my own party and, uh, and so on and so forth. I'm intensely focused on Anambra. I've just been in government for nine months. And uh, for those nine months, uh, working 24 by 7 uh, to put some foundational uh, stuff uh, for our people because this state is richly blessed with abundant human capital and uh, we are trying everything uh, to make it uh, work like you and uh, Kano where we are in Kano a lot of our people are in Kano large population of our people from this Anambra from the southeast are in Kano it is what we estimated used to be chairman of the Planning and Strategy Committee a few years ago, we estimated that there were about 11.6 million Igbos in the north. 11.6 million Igbos in the north. And probably over 7 million in Lagos. And we can't afford, we are a great stakeholder in, in all the places. And so, um, I'm glad you're doing very well. Uh, up there. We will wait to see who will be out here um, on our own side. I think uh, this coming week we will be uh, uh, flagging off um, our national uh, campaign and we will be, um, we'll be getting up there, north, south and so on. But all put together, I wish you well. You are a friend, an ally, someone that truly believes in Nigeria in public. But um, let's see how it goes in the coming months or in the coming days because it's now 50 days uh, I've counted. Now that we've taken my brother. <laughs> because after the election, anyway, here in Anambra, I must tell you something peculiar here about our politics. 
here in Anambra, our politics is such that um, the two persons are three running. When we are running, we can box ourselves like as if there is nothing. A lot of people with cock order in one leg, one pocket <laughs> like another cock order. <laughs> the other one. But you see them, the next time you see them, they are at a the funeral or at one uh, wedding uh, ceremony, drinking uh, with Japan together and so on and so forth. The day you see my brother running for uh, Senate and the other Senate candidates, when you see them around the table, you will think that these are. Uh, you, they will forget that they are running for office together. It's when they finish from that table, they leave again. The other one will be looking for an injunction to stop the other one. <laughs> but uh, but that, that's, that's what makes the Anambra politics a joy. Uh, because there's no hard feeling. The next day, they, are one, uh, they finish contesting. The day he has an event tomorrow, you will see all the other candidates in his house and, and vice versa. And that we take it as a as a game. It's not it's not a do or die uh, uh, thing as it were. So you're welcome to Anambra. And I wish you know beyond the opening of the offices, you know the candidate, the, the space is yours. Uh, declare that Anambra is a free state. Anybody, everybody, your campaign.